Hi everyone, I'm Claire Winchester and I'm going to talk to you today about standing waves in instruments. One method of creating standing waves involves holding a string at, in place at both ends and introducing a disturbance. Because the ends are held in place, the ends must serve as nodes. This allows only certain wavelengths within the string. Many stringed instruments utilize this principle, such as piano, bass, cello, violin, and guitar. To find the harmonics and overtones in string instruments, the fundamental frequency is created by holding a string at both ends, with half a wavelength set up between the nodes. This frequency is also known as the first harmonic, and has one harmonic right there. If a full wavelength is introduced between the nodes, the first overtone, also known as the second harmonic, is produced. So the second harmonic is an n equal to 2. If one and a half wavelengths are introduced between the nodes, the second overtone, or third harmonic, is produced. Third harmonic, n equals 3. To find the frequency in strings, from these principles, you develop a basic set of relationships between the harmonic, the length of the string, the wavelength, and the resulting frequency. First, note that the length of the string is always half the harmonic number multiplied by the wavelength, or L is equal to N times lambda, the wavelength, divided by 2. Or lambda is equal to 2L over N. With just a bit of manipulation and the addition of the wave equation, you can find the frequency of each harmonic as a function of wave speed and the length of the string. So, lambda is equal to 2L over N, and using the wave equation of V, the wave speed is equal to the frequency times the wavelength, or the wavelength is equal to speed over frequency, we find that 2L over N is equal to V over F, or F is equal to N times V over 2 times L. Other types of instruments create sound through the formation of standing waves in open and closed tubes. The wavelengths and frequencies are produced, produced of the sound waves are determined by the size of the tube confining the wave. Keeping in mind that air is what is moving in these tubes, the air at the closed end of a tube moves with minimum displacement, forming a node. Air at the open end of the tube moves with a maximum displacement, forming an antinode. Instruments using tubes that are open at both ends, such as trumpets, pipe organs, flutes, clarinets, and oboes, must have an antinode at each end of the tube. So, to find the harmonics and overtones in an open-ended tube instrument, it's similar to strings, and the length of the tube is always half the harmonic number multiplied by the wavelength and the frequencies produced are determined in the same manner. So for the, wave, the frequency and wavelength equations are going to be the same here. So we have lambda is equal to 2L over N, and we have frequency is equal to N times V over 2 times the length of the tube. To find the harmonics and overtones in closed-ended tube instruments, so this is for instruments such as the clarinet and some pipe organs where there's a tube that is open at only one end. Closed-end tubes must have a node at the closed end and an antinode at the open end. This limits the instrument to forming only fundamental frequency and odd harmonics. So here we have the first harmonic, n equals 1 the third harmonic, n equals 3, 
and then the fifth harmonic, n equals 5. And to find the frequency in closed-ended tubes, the, equiv the equations for the wavelengths produced in frequency change slightly. Noting that with only the fundamental frequency and odd harmonics allowed, n can only equal odd integer values. You can therefore write the wavelength and frequency equations for a tube closed at one end as lambda, the wavelength, is equal to 4 times the length of the tube over the number of harmonics, and frequency is equal to n times v over 4 times the length. So the first practice problem that I have is a guitar designer is designing an instrument in which the speed of the waves on a string should be 450 meters per second. How long must the string be to produce a first fundamental frequency F sharp note at 370 hertz? So since I'm dealing with a standing wave on a string, I'm going to use the equation F is equal to NV over 2L. And since it's asking how long must the string be, I am going to solve for L. So to solve for L, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2L, cancel out those, and I'm left with 2LF is equal to NV. But I want to isolate L on its own, so I'm going to divide by 2V, 2, sorry, 2F, and I'm going to find that L, cross out those, and find that L is equal to NV over 2F. Ooh, sorry. And plugging in for what I know, the N is the first harmonic because it asks me to find fundamental frequency. So N is 1. I have a velocity of 450 meters per second. And I'm going to divide that by 2 times the frequency, which here is 370 hertz. And if I was to plug that into my calculator, I will get 0 0.61 meters. This next problem has a diagram showing air displacement of four standing waves inside a set of organ pipes. Assume the velocity of sound in air is 343 meters per second. A, what are the highest and lowest frequencies for the wave shown? And B, what are the longest and shortest wavelengths shown in the pipes? So to start this problem, I'm going to calculate the frequency and wavelengths for each pipe. So I'm going to call this pipe 1, pipe 2, pipe 3, and pipe 4. So for pipe 1, I'm, it is a tube with one closed end, so I'm going to use the frequency equation of F is equal to NV over 4L. And for this, we're at the first harmonic, so the N is equal to 1. The velocity is 343 meters per second. And I'm going to divide that by 4 times the length of the tube. And the length of the tube is 0 0.5 meters. And plugging in that into my calculator, I will get a frequency of 172 hertz. So for the wavelength, I'm also going to use the equation for the wavelength in a closed-end tube, which is 4L over N. So plugging in what I know, I will have 4 times 0 0.5 meters divided by n, which in this case is 1, and I end up with a wavelength of 2 meters. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all the other pipes as well. For pipe number 2, we're still a closed end tube, so I'm going to use F is equal to NV over 4L. But in this case, I'm at the third harmonic. So I'm going to use an N of 3. So 3 times 343 meters per second 
divided by 4 times the length of the tube, 0 0.5, which equals 515 hertz. My wavelength is also going to be equal to 4L over N, which is 4 times 0 0.5 meters divided by 3. And that gives me a wavelength of 0 0.67 meters. For pipe number 3, we are at the fifth harmonic for a closed end tube. So I'll have an N of equal to 5. So frequency is equal to NV over 4L, which is equal to 5 times 343 meters per second, divided by 4 times 0 0.5 meters. So that gives me a frequency of 858 hertz. And the wavelength is equal to 4L over N, so 4 times the length of the tube divided by the N, which gives me 0 0.4 meters as the wavelength. And the last one is tricky because now we have an open-ended tube on both ends. And for, pi for that, we're going to have to use the other equation. So we're at the second harmonic here, so our N is equal to 2. So our frequency but our frequency is equal to NV over 2L. So plugging in what I know, 2 times 343 meters per second divided by 4 times 0 0.5 meters. That gives me a frequency of 686 hertz. And lastly, we have the lambda, the wavelength is equal to 2L over N, which is equal to 2 times 0 0.5 meters over the N, which is 2. That gives me a length of 0 0.5 meters. So it might be hard to see here, but I have answers for the wavelength and frequency of all the pipes. So I can answer the questions. The highest frequency is in pipe number three, the lowest is in pipe number one, and for the wavelength, the longest wavelength is in pipe number one, while the shortest is in pipe number three. So I have one more question for you guys. A musician is designing a custom instrument which utilizes a tube open at both ends. Given the speed of sound in air is 343 meters per second, how long should the musician make the tube to create an A, which is a frequency of 440 hertz, as the instrument's fundamental frequency? So for here, I have an open-ended tube. So I'm going to use my equation for frequency in an open-ended tube, which is F is equal to NV over 2L, or as we've seen before, L is equal to NV over 2F. So now I can just, I'm trying to figure out how long the tube is, so I can just plug in what I know. And since it wants to create a fundamental frequency, that is at the first harmonic. So I'm going to use n is equal to 1. I'm going to multiply by the speed of sound in air, 343 meters per second, divided by 2 times the frequency, which is 440 hertz. And plugging that into my calculator, I get a length of 0 0.39 meters. And for more information on standing waves, you can go to aplusphysics.com. Thanks.